the royal family traditionally spends Christmas and New Year at Sandringham House, the Queen's country estate in Norfolk. They have plenty of fun and quirky traditions, from gag gifts to an all-night game of charades. And, as you'd imagine, they have some magnificent Christmas trees. Is the Christmas tree a royal tradition? Queen Charlotte, consort of George III, is thought to have introduced the Christmas tree to the royal family during their reign in the 1800s. Queen Victoria and Prince Albert love the tree, and their fondness for the custom helped spread the popularity throughout the country. Today, the Queen and the royal family will usually put the final touches on their Christmas tree. They have more than one in Sandringham, usually two, but with all that space at their beautiful estate, you can only imagine how far the decorations might reach. On Christmas Eve, the royal family lay out their presents on trestle tables and will exchange their gifts at tea time. They are fond of jokey gifts, with Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, once giving Harry a grow your own girlfriend kit. Prince Harry once gave his granny, the Queen, a show cap which read, Life's a BCH. All members of the royal household will receive Christmas presents from the Queen, and Her Majesty will personally hand out presents to some members of the royal household at Buckingham Palace and at Windsor Castle. Continuing the tradition from her father, King George VI and her grandfather, George V, the Queen also gives Christmas puddings to her staff. About 1,500 Christmas puddings paid for by the Queen are distributed to staff throughout the palaces, staff in the court post office and palace police. Each pudding is accompanied by a greeting card from the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh also send around 750 Christmas cards, which will usually feature a family photo. The card is signed Elizabeth R. and Philip and features their official ciphers. Family, friends, and members of the royal household will likely be the recipients of the royal Christmas card, but British and Commonwealth prime ministers, governor general and high commissions may also be sent one. The Duke of Edinburgh has a further 200 cards sent out at Christmas to different regiments and organizations close to him. On Christmas morning, they all head to the morning church service at St. Mary Magdalene, Sandringham, a country church visited by the Queen's great-great-grandmother Queen Victoria, which dates back to the 16th.